Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampathy watching Sampath SamFX YouTube channel and this is Poco XC custom ROM review summer is on cases are out. Uh, welcome to summer and this is Sampat Samfix YouTube channel and this is Evolution X 7.8 latest version available only for Poco X it's available we have seen 7.7 .7 edition and here we go it's a 7.8 edition and Android version you can see here Android version is a 13 the latest one again and the best thing is here April 5th 2023 is the security patch that's the thing I am waiting for any custom ROM we are in the April where we should use a March security patch and that too in custom ROMs isn't it hence I was waiting the wait is over finally we got a April security patch build date on a custom ROMs for at least POCO X3 slash NFC it's applicable for both the devices the flashing method of this ROM is given at the end of the video hence check out complete video I'll be discussing everything in detail regarding this particular room stay tuned till the end of the video kernel user is 4.14.302 dex k kernel has been used and build date you can see april 11th is the latest build date and ceiling force is status is enforcing and i have been running some uh, cpu throttling test results if you want to see this and it's a hundred threat test guys as you can see on the screen and you can see the maximum score is around 187 and average is 176 and minimum is 159 it's throttled to 91 percent of its max performance which is good the graph is showing completely green lines it's a very good score according to this app and it's a hundred threat test as i said before and there is a good thing in this rom is the uh, fast charging support as you can see it was showing 12 watts only but gradually it will increase after a certain period of time once you uh, plug into charger and this is the Geekbench score 694 is the single score and multi score is 1763 kernel again links 4.1 4.32 text k kernel has been used on this poco x device is getting warm the ambient temperature or the room temperature itself is now 41 degrees celsius hence it will be warm only don't uh, think it uh, it is uh, overheating it's quite normal in this summers at least in india the tropical regions i don't know about some of the other regions and other countries maybe some countries higher than this and some may be very very low temperature but this is summers you need to use without case most of the time at least while gaming remove the case and play it out it will be a little bit cooler in my opinion the other benchmark results you can see the anti to benchmark app opening time 3,59,489 is the score and there was a slight delay in opening the app you can check out and 4.6 degrees celsius is the temperature is i even i kept the brightness lower and run the score but still it is raising the temperature up to 4.6 degrees celsius and three percentage of battery has been dropped during this testing of the android benchmark result in evolution x 7.8 based on android 13 and april 5th security patch build these are the scores i got and i want to show this geekbench it's also in the screenshot because it will not show you the history as you can see hence i need to show you the screenshot i have taken that I already shown you yeah 694 and multi score and 1760 the user interface wise it's very similar to any other uh, usb type of roms i mean the stock type of roms it's quite similar we have already seen the several versions of android i mean several versions of evolution x on android 13 it's quite similar you'll get direct camera here the nx built camera you can see all the features are working fine like integration and all more and if i show you into the settings if i go here and select the settings you get picture quality keep it sub to 100 percent and some of the other settings you can check out here 4k bitrate also you can choose it out saturation contact and sharpness you can do it out noise reduction high quality you can do it out these options I haven't seen in any of the uh, nx camera currently it is in this particular rom only the evolution x 7.8 all the features are working fine and i also done the root using magic share if you want to hide that open the magic share i think you people know this but i want to tell it out go into settings again select this uh this and go to configure deny list and select here uh, play store if you can find that if you don't select here show system apps and select android accessibility uh, suit and some other things like play store also carrier services if it is required you can do that i'll search the play store from here and 
Android system web view also. Okay, this one and Play Store. Then it will be showing you the uh, safety net status. Let me check this out. Okay, that's how it is. And if you want to hide this Magix app, you can change the or rename it to any other whatever you want. These things I haven't explained because I thought you people know that, but newbies can look out like this. It will be like this available and one handed mode is also working fine in third party applications too. Safety and status will check whether it get passed after doing these things. Yeah, it is still showing fail only. You need to do. Uh, let me open again. Add shortcut to home screen. OK, add it out. Go to settings here. It's the latest magic sense. It will be a problem. This is the 26.1 edition. If you want, you can use older 25.2. All those links will be shared in my WhatsApp group and Telegram group. Join it out. I made a WhatsApp group for you people. Join there. A separate group is available for Poco XC. Join that out. Check out in the description. And models haven't installed it. So into the settings. If I go here, configure Denial list. I'll try to do something. I left it out. Let me remove this Google Play Store. Only Android system web view. No. Carrier services also. Let me do that. You need to check out here show system apps again. If you do those things, then only it will be uh, showing it out the. Okay. Let's check once again the safety net status. Okay, it is still showing fail. If you guys know how to do that, let me know in the comment section. And there is a safety net status fix uh, zip file. You need to flash that using the Moizix model. Then it will be showing it out. That's how it is. I just forgot that I mentioned. You can use that model into the Magix model. It will be get passed. Why I am showing this? Because some people need to root the smartphone using this custom ROM. Hence, I am showing that. And uh, going to battery results, you can see here. It is how it is showing. You can also see on this minimum I mean the notification panel here. You can see the screen on and screen off rate. You can see 17.5 percentage per hour and 2.1 percentage per hour. And you can also see in milliampers here. It's quite good. It's not bad. I can say it's a very good ROM, but the temperature of uh, whatever I said room temperature itself is higher. Hence, you might feel a uh, little bit of warming of your device that's quite uh, similar i can say in these days avoid using cases in multitasking and all going in moving into other settings like drm information you can see here it's also a level one certified you can watch all the audit application in high definition resolution that's not the problem here you guys can see google maps are working fine on the google pay will work fine if you want to uninstall this one if i go into magics and uninstall magics complete uninstall then it will be unrooted your smartphone is quite simple you can use these methods i hope you guys know this from beginning itself i already made a dedicated video for magics models in my channel too and if you go into settings again it's quite similar i explained this evolver settings is available here into miscellaneous settings, enable unlimited photo storage and un high FPS in games. They have mentioned in Telegram channel that unlimited photo storage might not work once you enable that. Uh, keep on check that one. It's mentioned. And other things I explained in plenty of the videos. You can check out my channel. Now battery and battery usage you can see here. I already explained this aqua battery results because people like this kind of results if you want to uh, show similar thing in other videos also let me know in the comment section guys this how the battery and sound and vibration here i really like the vibration whenever i type on my smartphone and the keyboard also is quite good as you can see here it's quite interesting here in this particular ROM. It's quite fast also. And display settings, you get all this kind of options here. Colors, you get three options. And RGB strength, you can adjust from here. Minimum, maximum, low rear power refresh rate. Tap to 120. Tap to wake is given. Tap to sleep has not given. Display colors, calibration, and ambient display. Those things are given and working fine. You can see. You can adjust some of the other settings like color profiles are also given. You can play around them and battery i said 
everything is given you can see the charging cycles battery optimization you can do from here charge warning if you want to keep it for like 90 percent 96 percent you can do that those things have been added here k profiles has been given wallpaper sun style again you get this kind of live bloom wallpapers and the feathers i can personally like this feathers uh, live bloom you can use but amulet display would be better but in lcd it will drain a little bit of battery that in summers avoid using those things make it as simple as possible in summer such that your smartphone can run long time and away from warmness that's the only thing i can say and basic colors you can see you get plenty of options here even the combination of colors are also given here themed icons again it's still in beta even if you if you check out in android 13 also it's still in beta this is how the home screen and app drawer looks like and quick settings panel is also very smooth and responsive i haven't faced any uh, issues you can see this how the options has been given you can add from here editing that and you can see app active you can see one app is active from here and settings and power button has been moved down accessibility menu again it's a handy feature you should definitely try that out location privacy and again system into gestures gesture navigation into system you can get options like this options both the options has been given increase the pill length and radius that's quite interesting the charging speeds are also normal here battery life you will get very good in summers but make it a little bit cooler that is it's already warm uh, if you are in air conditioned then it's fine but still make it uh, cooler your smartphone in the summers just 40 45 days then it will be fine and don't uh, use too many roms in the summers to avoid uh, warmness and something uh, heating on the processor will be reduced if you use one single rom for this couple of months then it will be fine in my opinion these are the general things i'm saying but this rom is very good the evolution x i even played bgm also it handles very good unlimited storage is also given and unlock ifs count is also given in bgm i want i don't want to show it out it's quite similar the performance is very good in this room the camera also you get anx if you want you can use any g cam ports my favorite is uh arno build one and even the agc is also available now and coming to fingerprint unlock you can see it's quite fast and responsive now the face unlock it's also getting unlocked you can see again it's fast I haven't faced any issues in this particular ROM as of now. Maybe after using some more time, it might be found. But as of now, it's a very good ROM. The benchmark results are also very fine. If you want to jump and update, go and update these options. And if you want this NX camera pre-installed, then you can use this kind of ROMs. It's an unofficial only, but still, it's capable to use all your uh, primary requirements are uh, present in this ROM. I hope you like the video. If you are still not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button down below and also follow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon. If I forget anything to be tell, told in this video, you can comment down in the comment section. Guys, we'll meet you with another interesting video. Until that, keep smiling. Bye bye for now.